Well, it's October and summer is finally wrapping up. But before we embrace that beautiful fall weather, let's review some of the things that helped me get through that misery. I did one of these at the beginning of the season just as things were heating up. But as summer wore on, I found some areas that needed improvement. have brought up window covers a few times in past videos. I had planned on making my own, but with the heat escalating, I ran out of time and I ended up just buying them. I went with the full set from WeatherTech. Including tax and shipping, they ran me about 180. A bit steep, but I must say the quality is there. The fitment is really good except for the front passenger one is a little loose. If the door's closed, it stays in place, but if you open the door, it falls out. They definitely keep it dark in here and thus cooler. Yeah, pretty. Pretty cool in here. They're so effective, I use the windshield and the two front ones when I'm parked at home, since they are my least tinted windows. So dark. There's just a little gap behind the, behind the mirror, but it's so dark. This is great. I'll be trying these out for winter insulation next, and soon after that, maybe a stealth camp or two. last year video I introduced the Sports Cove tailgate tent and it has been great this summer. But for even more shade I bought this tarp and a set of tarp poles to attach to a side of the vehicle. This would keep the sun from beaming down on one side of the forerunner and provide a little porch. Turns out I didn't need it for shade the rest of the summer but I did need it for the monsoon rain. Sports Cove provides enough shelter for any gear I have outside, but not really enough room for hanging out. I'm still figuring out the best way to attach it, but clamping it to the roof rack and then using a magnet for the front edge seemed to work out okay. Next time I may set it farther back and attach it to the Sports Cove. One big game changer has been upgrading to a 12 volt fridge and freezer. I had been using a cooler with frozen water bottles and gel packs, and that combo carried me through the cooler weather, but as the temperature started to climb, I really struggled with keeping my food cold, especially on multi-day trips. With the fridge, my food and drink stay nice and cold. I even have ice for cocktails. The downside is it takes up a lot of space and it consumes about 70% of my battery bank per 24 hours when it's hot out. I plan on switching back to the regular cooler for the winter since the gel packs will last in the cold weather and I'll need that power for my electric blanket, a kettle, and other heating items which require a lot of juice. You may have seen ads for these sorts of tiny ACs. They're not really air conditioners, but evaporative coolers. And as such, they do not work when it's humid. Lucky for me, it's really dry out here most of the year. So this little guy was a nice little supplement to my fans. Didn't push out a ton of cold air, but just enough to cool down the cargo area a little bit. Since I can't lock my car and leave it running, um, I have Gunther set up with his little portable AC so I can run in and use the bathroom and get some snacks and lock the car. You helping? 
Another small thing has been modifying this old quilt so that it fits my platform. It makes a nice lightweight alternative to a sleeping bag. Also, not really seasonally related, but I got this strip of rechargeable LED lights from my closet and found they fit the sports cove perfectly. Well, I hope this information was helpful to you. Now let's embrace cozy season.